Hey, what's up guys? Hi, I'm back with another figure review, and I'm a little late on reviewing this guy. Got this about going in a week, actually, and today we're going to be taking a look at Batman, the animated series from DC Collectibles, Raj Al Ghul, Raz Al Ghul, however you want to say it. Now, this is a uh, character I've also been waiting for in the action figure form. So, if you guys aren't familiar with Batman, the animated series, I believe his first appearance was in the Demon's Quest but I think he was also in the appearance uh, off balance, or it was his daughter. One or the other, you guys let me know in the comments below, but I think he did appear in the end of off balance, but his first official appearance I believe was um, the Demon's Quest. And you know the guy who voiced this was the guy who played the professor in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and The Secret of the Ooze. And he was also um, uh, the main villain's uh, like butler or assistant in Titanic, but I, I, I don't know. I just thought I'd mention that to you guys So he's got 13 pieces right here. You can see he's got some interchangeable hands and he's got the mask of Anubis right here And that's pretty much it. This is figure number 24 again We got the really nice packaging So this is based off Batman the animated series not the new adventures and right there is the back So similar packaging to all the other figures. Let's crack this guy open So we're going to get into the accessories that he does come with. Uh, again, he comes with the same kind of base that every other figure comes with, with the clear rods, which I don't like. I personally just like this base right here. And you can see it's got the, um, the name of the character and a little bit of artwork of the character there. So that's always cool. We get uh, interchangeable, I don't really want to call them hands because it's more of like forearms with the hands. We get a total of, um, what, for six total with includes the one including the one that he's um he has this one looks like it can hold something but um he doesn't really come with any other accessories but you get these hands right here your forearms lower hands whatever you want to call them and you got the mask of anubis right here and this is really cool um the cool thing about this is you can still see uh raj al ghul's raj al ghul's face at the bottom of this right there so you can see kind of see the little bit of the beard the goatee right there in the bottom but this looks awesome. The sculpting looks great. The paint applications look very clean. And um, I'll show you guys how to interchange this in a second. I just dropped it. All right, so here we have Raj Al Ghul. Uh, the figure looks really, really nice. Again, just like all the other DC collectible Batman the Animated Series figures, he looks like he's fresh out of the, um, you know, the TV screen. But you can see the head sculpt right here looks very, very nice. The hair looks great. Again, just <sighs> looks really, really cool. Right out of the TV show. Eyes look great. I love the little beard or goatee that they gave him right here. It just looks awesome. You got the little white hairs. Uh, the cape is something that's a little bit different compared to all the other, you know, like the Batmans or any of the other characters. Usually we're used to like the soft rubber plastic capes. This one's a little bit harder in the plastic, so you can't really bend it open. I think if you do, you'd probably mess up the cape, but it goes all the way down past his feet and it kind of drapes along the, uh, the floor, but it's a harder plastic. So you can't really do any of the arm movements underneath, but the cape is removable. So you can pop the head off, you just slide him under here, and you can pop the head right back on, and you can display him without the cape. But personally, I think he looks better with the cape. Now you got, well, geez, that's, this is not gonna pop in all the way, there you go. It's got kind of a long neck. But the outfit looks pretty cool. You can see he's got a nice green shirt with the sleeves you know, the, going all the way to the forearms. He's got a little black belt here. And then green pants and green boots. So nothing really too crazy as far as the outfit goes. Uh, no peg holes at the bottom. But um, again, a great looking figure. Now we'll go over the articulation really quick here. The arms do go in and out. They go forward and back. A bend. Well, that just popped off. That's the actual arm. It's supposed to do that. Uh, a bend at the uh, see it's going to be hard to bend the forearm because the or bend the el bend at the elbow because of the um, the hand can't pop off. But he's got a bend at the elbow and lower arm rotation. Same with here, but there's going to be no wrist articulation because you know he pops off at the at the lower uh, forearm, which I don't really like too much. Uh, the head can rotate and you can kind of tilt it side to side. Legs go in and out, forward and back, bend at the at the knee. This figure looks very, very fragile. Uh, foot goes up and down, and that's about it. Now, I think I already said rotation at the waist, no ab crunch. I don't like the look 
of him without the cape. So what I want to do is just put the cape back on, even though it kind of hinders your articulation, but he doesn't come with any other accessories. So it's not a really, not a really big deal on how you display this guy. Let's see. So we're going to pop. Actually, you know what? Let's not do this. Let's put the mask of Anubis on him first. Pretty sure this will go on. Oh yeah. This looks, this looks cool. This looks really, really cool. So I have him right here displayed with the mask of Anubis and that looks great. I really, really like how this looks. I'm not sure if it's all the way on the peg. It feels like it is, but this is awesome. This looks really nice. So you can either display him like this or with the um, normal head sculpt that comes with the yeah, figure. Guys, a quick little look at the DC Collectibles Batman, the animated series Raj Al Ghul figure. Not the best from DC Collectibles Batman anim animated series line. Uh, it's got a few problems with the figure. I mean, is I don't really like how the cape is and I don't like how the interchangeable arm or lower arm arms or forearms slash hands are and I think he should have came with another accessory I feel like he's missing something but other than that as far as the look goes he looks great and he's gonna go great with my Batman figures and I have to get this figure because he was um, he was in the demons quest is part of is one of my favorite uh, two-parters So I had to get this figure and the mask of Anubis right here is really really cool Let me know what you guys think about this figure you guys plan on picking them up What other characters do you guys want to see from Batman the animated series DC collectibles hit that subscribe button guys like share and uh, we'll see you guys later Stay tuned for more reviews